your welcome back to the channel i'm your main man joey sparks that's two e's no why you heard me that's two e's no why and today i'm here with justice that's my main man that's my boy right here okay and in this video we are going to be giving our spoiler review of spider across the spider verse part two part one wait what part one part one okay wait maybe is there well if you don't know there is a third installment in the Spider-Verse story, right? And apparently this sequel is part one to the ending. Is that clearer for them? Okay, awesome. So, once again, this is a spoiler review. We're going to be reviewing this movie that we've seen. And while we talk about it, we're going to probably spoil the movie, the plot, and everything um, that has to do with it. So if you haven't seen the movie, hit pause on this video, run to your local theater, watch spider-verse and then come back and hit unpause and we'll discuss the movie okay does that sound good for you too yes. okay but before we start what do we need them to do like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so we you know when we drop a new video i couldn't have said it better myself son okay folks so boom let us get to discussing <laughs> across the spider-verse now this is the second sony animated film of spider-man featuring miles morales as the spider-man not well it's centered around miles morales but it has the other spider-mans in there right like mm -hmm. peter parker and gwen stacy and everybody else right um and so this st second one starts out a little different we get to visit gwen stacy in her world and what she's dealing with and we we actually kind of jump back before we first met her in the first installment of Across the Spider-Verse. And she tells us that she accidentally killed her best friend. Well, now we find out why. It was Peter Parker, and Peter Parker just so happened to be the lizard, right? Mm -hmm. And so she thought she was killing the bad guy, the lizard. And then after the lizard died, his body changed back to Peter Parker, and she realized she killed her best friend. Well, while she was realizing that, her dad stumbled upon them. And, she, and he thought spider woman killed peter parker and then later she explains to him or her her dad catches the drop on spider girl and the only way she thinks she can get out of it is to reveal her identity to her father and her father takes a beat but then still wants to arrest her right mm -hmm. which is kind of mean and so she took off running right because mm -hmm. she didn't know what to do since her father was going to arrest her anyway well, then she ends up getting help from some other spider people, right? Mm -hmm. And these other spider people were from other spider verses, but they were part of a big Spider Man group. A society. The so Spider Man Society, right? Mm -hmm. And um, this was a secret group of Spider Man that crossed different universes to help save the day in different ways, right? Mm -hmm. Well, they asked Gwen Stacy to be part of it, and she took, her, took them up on it, right? Then we cut back to Miles. Miles, we realize, has been on his planet missing his spider friends, particularly Gwen Stacy, right? Mm -hmm. He's been drawing her a lot and just been wondering what's going on. But he's also been slacking on his school stuff because he's been out there stopping crime. And we find a new bad guy that he's trying to stop right rob a gas station or a bodega or something mm -hmm. right what was the name of that new bad guy spot spot and the spot can kind of almost create like little portals right mm -hmm. that he could put his hand in and come out the other side but he's like clumsy at first right mm -hmm. he's like doesn't have his superpowers down yet uh -huh. and so um he ends up becoming the main bad guy or one of the main bad guys um miles gets rid of him kind of easily but it creates a a bigger bad guy for later well shortly after that his friend Gwen Stacy who can now hop through the universes took a moment to go visit him and they were super happy and his mom kind of interrupted while he was talking to Gwen Stacy right mm -hmm. she had to go and Miles wanted to follow her now Gwen and all the other Spider-Mans from the Spider Society did not want Miles to want to be part of their group because Miles was one of the first anomalies. Look into the camera right here, right? Right? He was one of the anomalies, one of the first anomalies. And that's because he wasn't supposed to be bit by the spider. He was bit 
by. Mm -hmm. The spider he was bit by was supposed to bite someone else in another universe. But instead, that spider glitched into Miles' universe and bit him instead. And so we find out that there's a whole other universe without a Spider-Man. And so mm -hmm. it's just been lots of crime and chaos, right? Mm -hmm. Well, finally, they end up taking Miles to the Spider-Man Society, and it is there where he finds out he wasn't supposed to be Spider-Man. It was an accident, right? Mm -hmm. And so they said, we can't send you back because in your world, something's going to happen. What's that? Um, I forget. <laughs> What's going to happen to his dad? Um, once he becomes captain, he's going to die. Right, and, we, and they need that because every spider-man loses mm -hmm. someone close to them right we've all heard uncle ben's story many a times well this specific one miles is going to lose his father and so they hold miles captive because they know he's going to go try and save his dad somehow miles gets out right and he starts running and all the spider-man chase him and they're all trying to stop him miles does get kind of caught and they put him in a machine that's going to send him back to his world mm -hmm. right or no he, he he sneaks into a machine that is going to send him back to his world except it sends him to the world that the spider that bit him came from this mm -hmm. the world without a spider-man mm -hmm. and so when he shows up there he thinks he's talking to his regular mom mm -hmm. his uncle aaron right and then he finds out in this world his dad's dead already did right and that there is no spider-man and so then when he goes talks to his uncle aaron and he says i know you're the prowler uncle aaron says i'm not the prowler and then in walks the the Maj morales walks in from that universe that was gonna get bitten but it bit the other miles so he's the prowler now so this other universe that doesn't have a Spider-Man, Miles isn't a Spider-Man in, Miles is the actual Prowler. And so they tie up our hero Miles and in walks with his hair all braided back in a purple costume, right? And his eyes really low and we see Prowler Miles, right? Oh, it is so cool. Now, small little tidbit. I wore my spider verses to the movie just to saw the spider verses in the movie uh, a lot of people were kind of thrown off by the design well come to find out that actual design is in the movie and being that there's a third installment to the uh, spider verse some people think this this small image they were able to grab really fast in the movie is gonna be the new sneaker now the colorway looks like it kind of matches miles morales the prowler version uh -huh. which i think might be pretty cool i'll have to wait to see them right mm -hmm. so anyways miles needs saved and who's outside about to save him gwen because <laughs> gwen while miles was running through his issues gwen took a second to stop to talk to her father stop mm -hmm. back in her universe and found out her dad felt really sorry about what he said, right? Mm -hmm. And he's happy, and they took a nice hug, but then she tells him she has to go save her friend. And then she rounds up a few new friends, right? Mm -hmm. Punk Rock Spidey. Um, the the um, Yo-Yo Spidey. Yo-Yo, uh, Bangladesh Spidey, I think they call him, or something like that. Bollywood Spidey Man. Um, and then we also see a couple other Spider-Men that we were used to seeing, too, like mm -hmm. um, Noir. Uh, who was the other one? The animal. Spider Ham and the girl that's in a new suit. Oh, a new spider robot, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, and then right then, the movie stops. And then it says, to be continued. Now, while we were at the theaters, mm -hmm. I didn't know there was a third installment. So I was shocked. I was just so happy they were making a new Spider-Man that I didn't realize we didn't get to finish this story, right? Mm -hmm. And I really wanted to see what happened to Spot and the Prowler Miles and then whether Miles um, and Spider-Man 2099 become friends or not, mm -hmm. right? I want to also see what happens with him because he, he's kind of dealing with some grief that happened to his, um, his baby, right? Mm -hmm. Oh. Okay, I just thought it was such a good movie. Did you like the movie? Mm -hmm. If you were going to rate it out of 10, what would you give it? A 100.
wow i don't know if that's possible but i mean i was gonna say the only thing stopping me giving this movie is a 10 is because i just don't know how it ends but other than that this movie is a 10 out of 10 sony gets spider-man right and pulls on the right heartstrings now given it's animated film so they were able to do a few things differently um that you probably couldn't pull off or it would be too expensive to pull off in the um, live action version of it but oh this one the relationships between gwen and her father and mirroring uh, miles and his dad and then the epic spider-man tale that they have to lose someone that creates their their motivation right mm -hmm. whether it's a uh um or or else they'll break the cannon they'll break the cannon it's part of the cannon that they have someone die right mm -hmm. and they got to stick to the cannon otherwise they create a a faulty universe and then they got to go rescue mm -hmm. it right Oh, it's so good. I cannot tell you. You will not be disappointed. Get your loved ones. Get your friends. Go to the theater and watch this film. It, we don't always get great superhero movies, but this is one of them good ones, wouldn't you yeah. say? Okay, so Justice gives it a 100 out of 10. I give it a 10 out of 10. Um, there's a new one on the way. We like the potential shoe design that might be coming out, right? Mm -hmm. And maybe we'll do this more often with different movies for mm -hmm. people, right? We'll, we'll, we'll watch the trailer. We'll let them see what we thought about the trailer. And then we'll come back after we saw the film and tell them, mm -hmm. right? Okay. Well, that'll be it for our review and reaction to Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. Um, before we let you go, we got to ask you to do something, right? Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, leave a comment. Have you seen the film? Tell us, did you enjoy it? If not, tell us why. If so, tell us your favorite part. And remember, make friends with us in the comments, mm -hmm. and then we're going to team up against people who disagree with us in the comments, right? Maybe, just maybe, we'll give you something. He'll give you something. He's got all the money. Okay, guys? <laughs> Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one, okay? Tell them peace. Peace. peace.